mob connections here in Korea. I made a, a little set for my dog first. <laughs> Wasn't a good idea. So here we go. Bands coming fast and furious in Italy and Lissandra, or rather Ari and Lissandra banned for Samsung. Kassin and Vagar banned by Jin Air. So Jin, Jin Air decides to ban the Vagar this time, knowing that that Don't is a valuable first pick yeah. in the current meta game. We've seen it go in that first pick slot in both of our matches so far this week. SK Telecom and Najin uh, Ooh, Jarvin went first ban. in that match as well. And there is a Jarvan take. I mean, Chaser did really do well on Jarvan in the last game. It, with the exception of that one ult early, uh -huh. every other ult was, was very good. Yeah. That yeah, certainly was. And it, it was reassuring as a, you know, if, if you're a Chaser fan to see a game like that, you know, he did really look a bit better than that last series. There's a Lulu ban for the final ban on the Jin Air side, and that will be a first pick Zareth for Samsung Galaxy. Okay, we'll see how Ace can do. I mean, again, Ace did very well on Cassidy. Can he do it on a blind first pick Zareth? Well, you have to take it away, though. That's the philosophy here, yeah. is that GVM will take that very early on in the draft, even picking it blind if he can. And without Bliss there with a the Fizz and with Samsung banning Ari, they pretty much backed themselves into a corner where they had to take it. I just don't see, you know, how this is really going to hurt Jenner too much. I mean, GVM can just play Ezreal again. He's got options. It's true. He can play Ezreal again. But typically, he's liked to play Ari into the Zareth in the past. Uh, so it does put... It, it does eliminate a lot of the kill pressure. LeBlanc is also available in this game. Play Cassidy as well. Yeah. That's oh, true no, too. Cassidy's banned this game. That's also Sorry, true. Pardon me. Double true. True that. Double true. <laughs> uh, oh, Rek'Sai available for Chaser, so wouldn't be surprised to see that one taken away. Eve has uh, certainly put a priority on that. Really, that and Lee Sin, so I guess they're going to go with the Lee Sin instead. Okay. Uh, we do see the Rek'Sai and Lee Sin available this game. They were both banned out, interestingly, by Jin Air in the last one, but now we'll get to see a little bit of movement here. I imagine Samsung's going to play that in Italy again. Yeah. Well, it'd be interesting to see a Blitzcrank and a Rise. I don't think we're going to see either. Thresh could certainly be a possibility here. They would stack themselves up with a lot of AP poke if they took that Italy in the jungle one more time. Looks like and they, yeah, I think they, they probably will. Yep, they will. And Thresh locked in as well. So, two more picks over to Jin Air. You know, Janna is still available too. I like the Thresh pick here. You have more peel than they did in the last game, uh, where they they did have a bit of a split composition because while well, Corky and Italy wanted to poke Cast and Alistair and Maokai a little bit more all in. Yeah. So that made for some janky engages at times. But this time looks like they're going to be going more pure poke. And Janair probably just going to play the mid Ezreal again. Yeah, I think the Ezreal, the LeBlanc, any of those would work fine. But GBM sure. had a very good game on Ezreal game one, so why not? Why, why change Honestly, something? You know, just play, just play Ezreal, Corky. Uh, yeah, that's actually a great pickup here. Usually that's banned yeah, up LeBlanc. against uh, up against GBM. He hasn't played LeBlanc in his last few matches. Certainly still a good pick against But he, he's very good on LeBlanc, and we saw that early on in this season. Rumble and Janna will be the pickups. I like this draft so far from Janair. They've got a lot of poke once again, and with the LeBlanc, they'll be able to punish the immobility of the Zareth in this game with the Equalizer once again over the top and following up with LeBlanc damage, and they've got plenty of peel for the back line as well. So what will the top in the AD carry be for Samsung here? They could grab that Maokai again. And we'll see what they want to take for AD carry. It probably will be the Maokai. Uh, but will they take away the Ezreal? I mean, it, it seems like Jin Air was I have a block anyway, so I don't know if they need to do this. It doesn't hurt GBM because he's got such a good choice. And he can Ezra play LeBlanc, LeBlanc which is already strong. I would actually take the Jinx here. I think that's a much better pickup. Fury, of course, known as a Jinx main back from his time on Prime. That's right. So Jinx is a great pickup. Of course, yeah. you're going to have some chunks going down early with Nidalee and Zareth, and so hopefully an easy time for Jinx resets. And I think that's by far the best. You pick, a, you pick a different AD carry here, and you may run into some trouble with the mostly magic damage composition. Now you have a very hard scaling, huge attack damage hyper carry and Jinx coming in to balance out your comp. 
And it will be the Ezreal actually taken, so no LeBlanc going yeah. back to Poke again. So very similar composition for Jin Air. I mean, there's no one really for uh, LeBlanc to completely evaporate on the other side this game. I mean, even Thresh is you know, going to take a while before you can kill him with one round of spells. So I think the Ezreal is a good choice. And again, you know, we played it great in game number one. Why not take it for game number two again? I really am happy that we finally get to see Fury's Jinx as well. It's, it's been, been a while. It's been a long time. This will be the first Jinx pickup of this season, actually, here in Korea. Has been popular in other regions, particularly in NA. But has seen very little play. Koreans have generally shied away from Jinx because she doesn't have the highest degree of survivability. Yeah. Is a bit of a stationary target. And Samsung will have that problem. They've got a very stationary backline in Zareth, Jinx, and Nidalee. Of course, Nidalee does have to stay in human form in order to really put the poke down. So that is limits her mobility quite a bit. Or she's not poking, which is fine. If you're the other team. It's true enough, yeah, <laughs> nobody complains then. Well, guys, it's time to see if Samsung can tie it up. Let's get in the game. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Match you set to Samsung versus Jin Air. Crowd getting into it. Samsung trying to tie things up. You know that hawk, the, uh, the hawk in the intro, it's got such a dramatic look when it you know, turns its gaze to us to the camera. I feel like I should call it Drama Hawk or something, you know? I feel like that should be like the OGN mascot or something now. It, the hawk already is the OGN mascot, though. It's a well, logo. I, I know, but it's not the, the dramatic hawk that we found. It is in the uh, well, now you new can, intro. You can imagine it turning its head towards you. I will. I see it when I close my eyes. It's, <laughs> it's very eerie. Deep invade for some wards from Samsung. It's wanting to keep an eye on the blue buff area. High kill pressure lane, Jinx yep. Thresh. Of course, you land one of those hooks, and the traps are coming soon after, so you have to be very careful in playing against that combination. High degree of synergy between those two champions. True enough. I'm going to be interested in Samsung to see whether they can pull this off because, again, we have that true shot equalizer combo, which Jadera has shown that they know how to deal with, and a lot of very immobile champions. Now, if Samsung can get the resets on Jinx off of the Nidalee Zareth poke, they're going to be in good position, but Ace and Fury, they will have to be very careful lest they fall early on in the fight yeah. to some backline ultimate damage coming out of GBM and Trace and also Kevin Jack. Well, I mean, you could see players like Chaser, too, getting back onto the Jinx and kicking them forward. And if that happens, then you're just dead. It's kind of dead. Nice little trick for Maokai there. He will get spotted going back into his lane. But if you stack the saplings up there, you can just go ahead and take those three mini raptors. Looks like Janair's going to invade and take the blue, though. Yeah, they want to try and punish this Nidalee early. Uh, they may have been expecting a lane swap, especially due to some deeper wards coming in from Samsung on the bottom side of the map, but it's not going to happen, and nobody there to punish yeah. Lee Sin, however. So let's take a look and see what Chaser's jungle path is going to be. Wow, GBM already poking Ace pretty hard in this lane. Oh, they're doing it again. Notice last time that they actually did make a pretty cons uh, concerted endeavor to take out the blue buff, try and deny Ace. It is very important to have that blue buff yeah. uh, on the Xerath. And again, GBM doing what SKT did, trying to punish a new mid laner by attempting to control blue. Wasn't successful in the last one, but against Zareth Nidalee, that blue buff is of paramount importance to Samsung. Oh, definitely. And there looks like they're not even going to get it. Eve doesn't know that it's been taken. Uh oh. Wah, wah. No blue buff, and that will slow him down quite a bit. It's going to be very annoying. Wraith coming up to mid, not really finding an opportunity to get any ganks off on GBM. Maybe he can. Okay, they're warding the blue. They want to see if it's safe for Eve to come in and possibly take yeah, it. Yeah, but GBM has know. mid pressure right now, so that would yeah. be a little bit risky. Wraith wants to help out. Eve is three, does have some heal. Not a lot of mana, however, but without Lee Sin on that side of the map, looks like this will be more than likely a takeaway right here. Yep, Chaser just taking down the Krugs. Get this in low. So close, there we go. And so it looks like he will be able to take this blue buff after all. Still slowed down, but not as much as, as uh, he could have been otherwise. Could have been worse. Right. 
certainly could have been. So they will not clear it, however. I actually think this is a mistake from Samsung. Because their blue buff was cleared, which I guess Eve doesn't technically know for sure, because he only threw a spear over the wall and then immediately... Oh, nice knock up on the Wraith. Good play from Jay, and that's a lot of poking going down. From the bot lane. Wow, Eve's nice. The prediction spear. Predictive spear, yeah. <laughs> Looked into the future when he threw that one, wow. Well, basically, if the he would have gotten some damage probably in Cougar form if the flash didn't happen or the arcade ship didn't happen. So right. he's trying to make sure he got damage either way. Smart little play there, and Chaser will clear out his blue. This is great for Gen Air because now the, they know exactly when the timers are on both blue buffs, so they're going right. to be able to play around both blues really well. Samsung, I think, would have done themselves a favor by clearing blue just so they could have that timer so that uh, they can make a, some sort of contest. I think this is actually playing in heavily to Jyn Air's favor because the best possible scenario is that they deny the second blue buff. Well, best possible is that they would have gotten them both, but this way they can continually deny blue buffs out of mid lane if they continue to make plays around that objective. So yeah. I like that. I, I, I disagree with uh, Samsung's decision, and I think that Chaser will be quite happy to find that little golem there. Probably. Meanwhile, in the top lane, just farming going on. A nice little CS lead early for Kube. Trace should be able to catch up a bit later. We'll see. Oh, Captain Jack gets hit with that death sentence. Got to be careful. Whirlwind coming through, though. And Captain Jack activates that Gatling gun. He still does a lot of damage. And that's still a one trade for Jin Air. Fury manages to dodge the Phosphorus bomb, though. Yeah, Fury, not a lot of management of mana right there. Wraith actually didn't activate his Ignite. It could have... Yeah been a little bit different. Actually, that trade probably could have gone in Samsung's favor had the Ignite been used. Right, here comes Eve. No ward up in Tri-Brush, so right. good opportunity right here if... if. Oh. oh, he's gonna bring him in, and there we go, right on the chain. Nice play by Eve, but will it get him a kill? Eve chasing him down, and first blood goes to the jungler on Samsung. That was a great play by Wraith. Land the death sentence, then toss the lantern over the wall. Perfect, perfect Thresh engage there. That was what beautiful. A, just a beautiful play. Like you yeah. said it, Doa. I mean, they knew the ward was in River, it looked like, where that there had been one place up there, so there wasn't the possibility of a flank, but Wraith yeah. just hooking the minion wave instead, bringing oh, the yeah, lantern right. in, and then flashing for the flay, closing the gap so that Nidalee could do a lot of that damage. And just great individual Ooh. playmaking. And here we go, GBM doing his best maker impression right now. It didn't quite hit the AD carry every single time last game, but <laughs> he's one for one so far. Eve coming right back onto Captain Jack and Fury. Captain Jack That's just annoying. walking out. Yep, has to walk around the trap. Dodges the spear, though. <laughs> Whoops. It's actually good patience from Captain Jack right there, just yeah. knowing that spear had to hit for the closure to come in. Yep. And otherwise, Jimmy. able to stick around in lane and also get information about where Eve was on the map. Eve. Try and rain some spears in right here. I don't here. know about this strike, man. I think it was a good attempt. Yeah. But might as well give it the old college try, but not going to find quite the opportunity they want right there. But Fury's going to have to go back soon, and then they may have, well, both AD carries getting kind of low. Chaser True. trying to have some presence at the bottom side to push this wave up. Well, trying to save that pink ward. And Wraith can't quite do it, but they do kill the ward for Jyn Air as well. And the question is still, who's going to come away with this first dragon of the game? Eve trying to still zone in the spears, and here comes Ace. And so for now, it's still a bit of a toss-up. Eve with the crab grab right there will crab help grab. The crab grab? Crab grab. Grab wow. the crab. You grab the crab? He... Scuttle the Rift Scuttler, I don't know. Well, Wraith with the fake gank. He's got a spear, so it's more like the Crab Stab, isn't it? The Crab Stab. That's right. All right, well, GBM recalling. This could be the opportunity that they need to do the to do the dragon. Oh, they now. grab Captain Jack right into the traps. Captain Jack manages to avoid it until the flake gets the Valkyrie out, gets the flash. I could not believe that he escaped from that. Wow. Well, that's still going to be the opportunity they need to do the dragon, though. It now, is, but GBM man. has gone back. All he has is a tear and a vamp scepter. Eve is recalling. Oh, even Ace war. recalling, too. Okay, well, I guess it won't be. Uh, well, maybe oh, it will be. Oh, especially now. with. Well, we'll see that delay. Well, I mean. going to change things up a little bit. Trace does have the equalizer. He's pushing forward, wants yeah. to. 
get an opportunity right here. But you know, I feel like they wouldn't have gone for it, but then uh, you've got held up and it's like, all right. No, with Ace already going back, they were man down in the middle. GBM just returning to lane as well. Eve pretty low on HP and mana. So they are going to have to back off. And will Janair go for it? Nobody in the bottom side. They certainly have an opportunity right now. They should. Oh. All right, nobody really wants it this it's game. A good game to be a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely could have gotten the dragon right there. If you're a Janair. Well, they but they didn't know, to be fair, they didn't know where Nidalee was. Yeah. So that is the safer play. That's good to do it safely, I suppose. And, I, I mean, Janair de delaying that means that they can contest the first dragon. They are the ones with less scaling in this game. There is a Zerithal, not sure who that was targeting. Looks like it was the blue buff, but he didn't get it. Went over to GBM. All right. Well, this game has been very passive from both sides. And we, we said it earlier in the season, as far as Samsung goes, and I think it still applies now that even though they are looking better, I don't think extremely passive is how you want to play against Janair. <laughs> I feel like Samsung should really be yeah. taking a couple more chances here. People don't typically beat Janair in long games. No, they don't. Oh, Wraith getting very, very low. The Ignite not quite enough. Rocket comes through, a flash from Fury. He misses one, and Captain Jack, one more auto. That whirlwind from Jay comes in, and he should have the cooldown for shield back by now. Doesn't Ooh, even need it. Oh, he misclicked his W onto yeah. the minion, though. That could have been pretty bad. Well, he uh, had to straight up miss. But does come out the very, very late whirlwind to Oof. save Captain Jack. But Jack's got to be more careful with his positioning. This Jinx lane is oh, pretty here down. We go. Here we Kicking go. Back out from under the turret. Chaser comes in. An easy kill for Jin Air. Che appropriately gets a finishing blow on that one. He did, of course, do all of the work. <laughs> that was actually quite surprising right there for them to come in. Yeah, I think they've decided they want the dragon. They're like, all right, just do it. That was that was a really good read. Uh, Fury did use his heal and his flash in that attempt to take oh down Captain Jack, so they knew he'd be relatively undefended in the bottom lane. This Chaser. could get interesting. Spear coming through, takes a chunk out of the dragon. He's going to come in. Can't quite get it, though. <laughs> just hopping in to say hello. And Taking a ride out on the Dark Passage. Yeah, Captain Jack actually, actually taking that with an auto attack. Smite yeah. just one auto early, but no big deal. Does go in favor, and there's Janair. They didn't even have to use a teleport, uh, which was down, of course, or an equalizer in order to pick up that dragon. They're going to be in good position, especially going into the next one. Yep. Uh, no play at the blue buff this game. Janair not taking advantage of those early timers that they had. Nice. Does pick it up in the end. Even gold for both of these teams right now. But that dragon for Jin Air giving him a little bit of a boost. That may not show up on the gold chart. He's just farming out the wolves, farming up as much as he can. Yeah. yeah might as well. He's probably getting pretty close to that Athenes at this point. Oh, grab onto Che, and they're going to pop the box. Do they want this kill? Here comes Captain Jack. Nice ultimate for Che, pushing him right back over the wall. The rockets from Fury, not quite enough. How did they see that? I don't know. There was no vision. Wraith just threw a hook up there. I feel like that was just kind of a happy accident. Because <laughs> I don't, I mean, when you know that uh, Janna has her ultimate, too, I don't think you'd want to intentionally go in on something like that. Well, like, I mean, well, they, I hooked they, it. Why not? they very nearly killed her right there. Yeah. So it was a really a close call. And nobody dying, but they did get the pressure in the lane. Jonna did have to recall after that little play was made. And Elts down for a little while too, but I think that was just a blind death sentence unless there was a ward that died right as the camera went over to it. We'll have to see if maybe we get a replay. We shall see. Jack keeping up in farm in spite of Eating the worst end of a lot of these trades early. Yeah. He'll be feeling good once he gets that Trinity Force. Should be quite soon. Nathan Fury just lurking in the brushes, seeing if they can entice Jack and Che to move forward right here. But there, they see Wraith more than the brush. Nothing really going to come out of that cute move. There's 
for regular stuff going violent. Ace going for Chalice Codex, and then a needlessly large rod. So probably just had a lot of money. It's been such a farm-oriented lane and mid. Yeah, I mean, why not get that little extra burst and damage that finishing your Athenes won't quite give you? He's been able to chunk out the turret pretty convincingly as well. Yeah. Getting it down about a third HP so far. So he's really been keeping the pressure on nicely. Yeah, Ace is looking like a, you know, again, from the small sample size that we have, Ace is looking like a pretty solid mid so far. He played the Kassadin in the team fights pretty well in the last game. It seems like, at the very least, uh, he's a better team fighter so far yeah. than Bliss was. Of course, we've got a very, very small sample size, but... Of course. Uh, Ace definitely holding his own right here, although he isn't having to deal with a particularly bad, it's just been dealing with a farm oriented matchup, so it's not overly challenging for him. I was more impressed that he came out so well out, out of the laning phase on Kassadin versus Ezreal in Alaska. And that's a much more challenging feat to accomplish, and there is a blue buff check right there coming in from GBM. Yep, not quite there yet. Blue buff being taken right now by Janair. Looks like they're going to give that one over to Gank by Mob. Ah, there's a ward there now. Interesting. Oh. That was. Oh. You get it? You got, you got, you got it. it. Ace stole the blue with that ultimate. Not bad. Wow, oh, this guy is pretty good. Nice work. And good setup there from Wraith as well. Just trying to put as much pressure on the blue buff at that time as possible. So everything yeah. kind of moving against. Jinair right now, they're the one who actually end up losing the blue buff and they can't, oh, barely clearing out that pink ward and getting away on the Valkyrie, so. I, I like these little wards that Samsung has been putting up over the edge of the cliff here too, down in, down by the bot jungle, because if you think about it, you know, when you've got Thresh like that, you can bring the AD carry up like you did with the Lantern, and that's not a bad idea. Well, not only that, but gank people. it's hard for Jack and Che to respond to any pressure of the blue as well. Yeah. Oh, here we go, trying to respond to this one by taking out Wraith, but they couldn't quite catch him. Yeah, Flash Lantern will get Fury out of there as well, so drag it up in another minute. Yeah, this gives Jin a really good chance to get some wards up, get that vision control around Dragon, and take out the Rift Scuttler. And they will. Popping those Nidalee traps as you go. 45 seconds, we'll see what the buildup is like. Top laners with TP right now. Early Leandries actually from Trace this game, mixing up his build. Okay. Interesting, well it gives you a little bit more health and I suppose if you are planning on doing a dragon fight in the near future too, it does help you do just a bit more damage to that back line. It makes you so fragile though, which is does. Somewhat problematic. He's overextended right now. Ray Thiddy trying be... to make a play, but the minion wave is going to block the hook. Oh, Equalizer use flashes out of the box first round. He's going to get taken down anyway. Manages to get the kill onto Raid, but this could still be bad as far as dragon implications go. Oh, he's trying to finish off Eve. Okay. True shot barrage. Oh, he misses. It was so close. He thought Eve would keep moving. Che coming in. Time to get bloodthirsty. Yeah, 1v2, do it, Che. <laughs> he just wants to delay them long enough to do the dragon right now. They have to go back. Dragon is live, so actually this will be a free dragon. That was a really good move by Che yeah. coming up to that side of the map because now they have the edge. Two players down on that side. GBM moving in right now. We do have the Zero the Ultimate up and ready to use. Now they got to pull that dragon a little bit more. It was still with an auto range for Fury. He's going to try to steal it. Can't quite do it. Jack and gets it again. Is. Yeah, another dragon for Jin Air. Corky Jay. rocketing it into the afterlife. Smart to move up top and delay those recalls. That was the best way to secure that dragon. Yep. And also a good way to maybe get a couple kills. <laughs> you never know. You never know what might happen with your level eight Janna. Yeah. I mean, you've got, you know, that shield gives you a nice big uh, AD boost. <laughs> those autos start to hit pretty hard. I played AD Janna the other day, man. Nothing to mess with. Did you now? Huh? Nothing to mess with. Silver on the crane server. <laughs> so I'm sure we're going to see Che try that. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, so Chop Raj comes through. They tried to make a play there with the Whirlwind. It nearly worked. Either way, it's going to be some nice damage onto the spotlight turret, though. Yeah, good chunk taken out at the very least. Nice job 
Corky Poke now really getting to this jinx. I feel like the way Faker has been playing Ezreal has really been influencing people. Yet oh, again, absolutely. Just, we saw that True Shot Barrage used largely for wave clear, you know, kind of all the zigs for the longest time, and Faker's like, you know what? I can just take a big chunk out of whatever lane I want, maybe get my team some extra kills. And yeah, obviously it's extremely difficult to do, but Faker and GBM have really been making it work out. Now they've pushed yeah. off Wraith and Fury off the turret, thanks in part to that True Shot Barrage, and that's going to lead to an objective. So good accuracy from GBM. And it's, it's, weird to, it's weird to say, you know, it's like something that Faker, you know, made happen, and only he can seem to do it. Oh, except for GBM, he can do it too. <laughs> what? What world is this? This is the world where GBM is a great mid laner now. It's true. It's, it's a right. very, it's a very strange universe. Yep. I like it though. Everybody thought that it was the darkest possible timeline when all the Samsung players went to China, but no. Actually, new gods just rose to fill the old ones' places. South Korea is the, man. I mean, the, I, the throne. They thought it was vacant, but then GBM just walks up and schools everybody. It's true, and oh. GBM, speaking of that, schooling Eve right there. Oh, uh -oh. Descendants hit, though. He might be in trouble. And it turns out that he was taken to school instead. Yeah, thanks, GBM. <laughs> right as I call right, you all right. king, you just have to go yeah. and die like that. This is the caster <laughs> curse, man. This is what happens. They're like, oh, this guy's playing so well right now. Immediately dies embarrassingly. <laughs> yeah. Immediately walks into four players. Yep. Yeah, that happens. Happens. Get the mid lane turret too. Yeah, and then they lose their turret. Yep. GB on the god. <laughs> Samsung piling on right now. Equalizer trying to burn down this minion wave. Make the follow up onto tier two impossible. They're still going hard though. Oh, wow. Wraith Man. has been amazing with his hooks. He's doing work with okay, this threat. Uh, we just need to stop saying good things about players. <laughs> Eve getting caught now too. He's in big trouble. Gets taken down by Trace. Yeah, okay, from now on, we just can't compliment players. They'll immediately die <laughs> if we do that. It's the kiss of death. It's too dangerous. <laughs> I have to go apologize to Wraith later, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Wraith, man. Wraith, who had had such a great game up until this point. Yeah, up until we, up until we ruined it. <laughs> Whoops. And looks like, okay, they'll get the tier one out of this. And Trace going into the Abyssal is the second item again. Oh, Faced okay. with, of course, that triple AP threat from Ace, Eve, and Kuve. Yep. So might as well go for that item once more. Also will help out with the Corky Rockets. Uh, well, so nice Wraith try. and Eve were kind of, this is a just lack of coordination. Fury and Ace were, they had fallen back. Meanwhile, two members of Samsung were still going in. Yeah. So if all four members of Samsung had been there, it would have gone, of course, a little bit differently. But I think that Wraith was a bit surprised that the rest of his team wasn't quite there to help him out with that, considering they had just all four-manned the mid-turret. And so just a lack of coordination on the part of Samsung. Whatever you say, Super Galaxy Rumble. Oh, I played a game where he was in it the other day. He is pretty annoying. You're right. <laughs> The English version? Yeah, yeah, the English version. I finally heard it. Did you lane against him where he yells crap? Like every <laughs> no. three seconds. Oh, Whoa, five that HP! Was close, man. Ooh, five HP. Too bad for GBM. Wow. Barely not taking it. Would have been fun to have both mid laners steal a blue with semi global abilities. Yep. But nope, we won't get that sort of equality in this game. Oh, and Shay manages to take out a pink ward. It's not bad. Dragging up in about a minute now. And the Ward Wars begin anew. And of course, the first victim of the Ward Wars is the Drift Scuttler. That makes such a sad sound when he gets beaten into submission, too. At least he doesn't die like everything else. That's true. The dragon just kind of burns up, and then they. Every six minutes, they just release another dragon. I, I imagine that, the, that this is really just kind of like the Hunger Games, where there are all these people who <laughs> like release dragons every six minutes and send them back into the pit. Well, there must like, be some sort of mechanism behind this entire Summoner's Rift well, experience. It's, it's a, just like players it's that a sick played apparatus. In, well, it's players that played Champions before. Like you know, one of those might be Woong or something like <laughs> that. Another one is Rapid Star. You never know. Like Long Panda. You know, he's long panda, so he must be the Baron. The Baron's pretty long, I guess. <laughs> One of those. But actually, the lore explanation for the Baron is that he's just like this super powerful ancient entity that 
has uh, either appeared or been drawn to the Summoner's Rift again because of all the crazy magic stuff going on there. Yeah, but they're like six barons, you know. We're going to see probably six well, different Baron Nashers tonight. He's like the... He burns up at the end. He turns to ash. I don't know, man. He's just around. Is he like a phoenix? Does he rise from it the ashes? He even says in the lore that everybody thought he was dead. So maybe... Maybe he's just, maybe that's just how he escapes from things. He just turns into smoke. He's like the monster from Lost, kind of. Turn into smoke, you know? I prefer to think of the the world where there are a bunch of like guys in Riot t-shirts that have a bunch of barons in cages that just release them every, every time Good. one dies. <laughs> Could be. I think that's possible. Those monsters. That's right, Riot. <laughs> I see you factory farming those dragons and barons. You won't get away with this. That's why you never buy dragons I'm from calling, Summoner's Rift. I'm calling PETA. Find a reputable independent <laughs> dragon breeder. <laughs> or rescue a dragon. Adopt a dragon today, guys. But fireproof your house first. <laughs> Teleport coming in as Samsung manages to take that Baron, but Jin Air wants to make him pay for it. Wraith will nearly go down. Finally will. Trace getting really deep in the back line, so they're going to turn on him right away. Nice heal from Jay. Helps keep people alive. Oh, and Ace not able to pick anyone off with that ultimate. It's a close call, so Jin Air ends up managing to get two kills. Oh, oh. here comes the rocket! Oh, oh, man! There was a ward, and that's a dead support. Yeah, easy rocket from Fury right there. Yeah, that one's not too hard to hit. It's fun. Back off after that one. Now, can they get a turret four? Ping's going down on the tier one. GBM has opted for an Iceborne Gauntlet this game, so. Oh, interesting. You know, because of all that, Sarah. Gage. Oh, they're going to go after oh, it anyway. Oh, anyway. wow. He just let him have that one. There goes the tier two turret. GBM gets poked after the stun from Ace comes in. Oh, GBM going to pick up a kill right there. Grabbed by Wraith, but he's going to be able to disengage. And Add GBM the flash the and moves. heal up right there. Very nicely played. Chaser, too, with a great engage on a Fury underneath the turret. Second successful dive he's had this game. I can't believe Well, Fury GBM, kinda... GBM I, the... Okay, let's take a look at this again before we go into that. So, Dragon goes over to Samsung. Good equalizer, blocks off any sort of counter engage. Trace coming around from the flank right here, able to zone out the back line by himself, and then gets out in the nick of time. You'll see Che has his shield at the end to keep himself alive. And then Fury. He's like, wait a second. I can kill that dude. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Direct hit. Direct hit. <laughs> you see uh, my Janna ship. He hasn't been watching enough NALCS lately, otherwise he would have known you can just take Dragon with your rocket <laughs> too. That, you know, why not just do that? You can be across the map and do it, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Well, Jinair got quite a few kills out of that when it was all said and done. Lost the Dragon, they lost Che, but they ended up killing four people in, I would say, not just that fight, but the events afterwards as well. So Indeed a 3K they did. gold lead. Yep. Got a turret lead by one and still leading by one dragon as well. GBM's has built a little wacky this game. I'm not sure what he's doing. QSS. The, the, yeah, QSS app before yeah. he finishes his blade. I mean. Worried about that stun coming in from Xerath, I suppose, or the traps from. Yeah, there are a lot Jace. of things to, to obviously do hooks as well. Wraith is hitting a ton of death sentences this game, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of the primary scary thing that he's trying to avoid. Even so, and with the Iceborne to kite out Jinx, um, and as well as survive if she does start to get some resets in. Yeah. The majority AP damage it doesn't seem like it's going to be too helpful. And GBM is really hamstringing himself in terms of late game damage here, especially considering he doesn't have a last whisper yet, and he's not anywhere close to getting one. And we have a frozen heart here on Dakube, so a bit concerning. A bit concerning. It's getting a bit worrisome. Yeah. Well, Baron is a bit of a thought now for both of these teams. You can see Jin Air getting a, trying to get a little bit more vision control over the Baron pit for now. Moving over to that top lane, it looks like. And Samsung needs to be careful here. They've got some wards, but they don't have quite enough. Oh, actually, they might be able to catch Fury here, or uh, Captain Jack, rather. Nope. Never mind. Uh, this team wandering around in the jungle. Trying to get him as many wards as they can. Yeah. Lensing everything. 
two uh, scrying orbs already on the Jyn Air side, though. It's a bit interesting that you'd yeah. have two of those up so early on. But that a lot of oh, these going the trinket it. changes have made Jynair's, early upgrades. Jyn Air's going for Baron right now. Here we go. A Baron. And can Samsung stop this? GBM. They don't even know. They have no idea. Yeah, I think GBM's doing a good job of distracting. And now, suddenly, Samsung's like, wait a second. And they do manage to scare Jyn Air enough by rotating up there. But I don't know. I wonder if Jyn Air could have just sat there and taken it. I suppose if they have to uh, set Trace in the bottom lane. Uh, they had only three people on it. Yeah, so, it was, so it was a cute attempt to try and sneak it right there. But as soon as they started moving up, it became too dangerous, especially with all this magic damage. They were going to get shredded, their MR shredded by the Baron anyway. So a Baron up in a minute, or a Dragon up in a minute too. So they can maybe pick a I like the attempt. And indeed, Samsung has no idea that Jyn Air even started that Baron because they backed off so quickly. Yeah. And as soon as they saw Samsung moving up towards that objective, so instead, they've just remained mysterious for that period. And you know, the uh, the bigger Krug is called the Ancient Krug, which I completely disagree with because, I mean, if a new one comes up like a few minutes after you kill it, it's really not very ancient, is it? No, but we've, we've discussed this. It's the, all the cages underneath Summoner's Rift that just release them in. I think they should still call it brand new Krug. Oh, Wraith has to flash. Get over the wall, but here comes Chaser. He had the Q landed. Wild goes down and they're gonna kick Kube back in. This is a 4v1 and even a tanky Maokai is not gonna make it out of this one. Can Jyn Air get away though before Fury and Eve come in? It looks like they can without any issues. 20 seconds until Dragon as well. That was not the time for Kube to get killed. Chaser has been so good yeah. in this game. His setups on Lee Sin have gotten so many kills for his teammates and he's been using that kick. Okay. Oh, they caught Fury too. GBM coming in, gonna get the kill. True shot Barrage. Comes oh! oh man, that mystic shot, not quite enough. Oh, the minion blocked the other mystic shot. Trace wasn't able to use that equalizer. It looks like they'll still be able to get a tier two turn. Captain Jack comes in, gets stunned immediately though, and Ace picks up an easy kill there. Oh no, Chaser gets grabbed now, and a big Jinx rocket comes through. One, two, and the third one can't quite do it. Jin Air backs off. I think they could have maybe just turned out Dragon there. That might have been uh, a little Jack bit safer. Jack was way too aggressive in yeah. that situation, trying to pick up that kill. Oh, Kube is uh, back now. Jyn Air should have just collapsed onto the turret and then moved onto the Dragon yeah. immediately. They had already chunked Fury out. It's just not worth it to get that kill. And Captain Jack absolutely obliterated in that choke point after getting hit by the Zareth stun. Very coordinated play overall from Jyn Air, but GBM's yep. here. He should be able to stall long enough for the rest of his team to arrive. Eve has no mana. No, Eve's just gonna sit there and get hit by the dragon for a while, I guess. And here comes Trace, home guards, bringing him in after that teleport. And they're gonna back off for a moment. All right, here we go. GBM and the rest Equalizer of the team. Equalizer almost up, Equalizer up now. That's right. And it looks like the dragon will go down. Eve managed to grab that one. Eve getting, or Kube getting kicked back out after Twisted advancing in onto Chase. Jyn Air trying to chase. They want to make Samsung pay for this dragon again, just like the last one. Chaser gets a slow onto Kube. Kube very low. There is a hit from GBM and a kill for Jack at the end of it all. Their tier two up in top lane is in a bit of jeopardy, as is their mid lane. So Jyn Air giving up that dragon and then not really able to get a lot out of it. Well, oh, except for, for maybe Baron. a Baron. Ace has his ult. He does. He does. But he's going to be really afraid to move close to Baron right now in case it's just a bait. Yep. And it will be a free Baron here. Okay, so Baron goes over to Jyn Air. Ace a little bit late to the party there. And the turret's still doing okay. About half health on that top one now. And, you know, we're kind of getting into the point again where it's going to be hard to sort of outlast Jyn Air. Samsung has got to be very, very careful with every movement from here on out. Yeah, a bit of an error there from Jyn Air, but they have developed enough of a lead. And now with this Baron buff, with their pretty intense poke composition, they will be yeah. able to make some plays here, probably get some turrets down and start the process of closing out this game. So uh, a little questionable engage right there, but they turned it around, made it work for them, delayed the dragon attempt long enough to get the kill and then turned it into a Baron. So they played well to cover their mistake at the very least and ended up with a positive trade. And there is a Jinx Rocket roaring by GBM. But it is still two to two as far as dragons go. So no big concern for Jyn Air to let Samsung have that one as well. 
Alright. Samsung trying to defend this top lane tier 2. Chaparaj takes a little bit of a chunk out of Eve, which is easily healed up again. Yeah, it's just about the sustained nature of this siege, though. Eve will eventually run out of mana yeah. as the rockets continue to pour in right here. And they have to have some way to clear out these cannon minion waves that are coming. GBM just split pushing right now. He'll be able to quickly deal with these turrets thanks to the sheep rocks. Yep. Engineers are getting pretty good at the moment. Now that tier two taking a lot of damage. Nice whirlwind comes in from Chain. That's going to allow them to finish off that turret. Good timing on that whirlwind. In fact, they're going to get two turrets right now. So really nicely executed split push yep. Yep. from Jair. And nope, dodging that third one. Yep. No problem. Now they're going to head down to the bottom side. GBM will need a little bit of a refresh right there. Jack not going to get the big wolf. Yeah, Jair has really put this Baron buff to use. Oh, look out, Jonathan. Trace roasting his own support. Good thing there's no friendly fire in League of Legends, huh? <laughs> <laughs> would cause a lot of problems, actually. It certainly would, yeah. That should not be a game mode. But I'm already missing Nemesis, man. That was around for way too short a time. I actually think friendly fire should be a game mode. That would be <laughs> that so? would be incredibly entertaining, that actually. That would just be troll central, man. I mean. Maybe, but th when you actually I, tried to win, it might be really interesting. I guess. You've got to. You've got a very morbid sense of what's interesting. <laughs> I mean, you play Vi, so you don't have to worry about accidentally <laughs> misclicking on, you know, well, may, what if you misclick the Vi alt onto one of your allies? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want this to be a thing. Friendly fire mode would actually be hilarious. I think it, maybe it, maybe it would be. You're convincing me now. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Karthus alt is like really dangerous to use now. <laughs> Just hits everybody on the map. <laughs> Yeah. And to choose the right time, Doa. Yep. This rocket heals everyone with Wish. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the only right time would be if all your team was already dead, basically. <laughs> or if uh, your team was still high enough and their team was lower after a team fight. Could be worth it. Or guess, you have to sacrifice somebody to trade it for two kills. You're like, I'm sorry, friendly Corky. That's I have right. to kill two people. It's worth it. <laughs> worth for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a good idea. Never mind. <laughs> Let's make this happen. But bring back Nemesis, too. That was really fun. If I had to pick between Nemesis mode and Earth, I would choose Nemesis mode. Nobody's asking you to make that decision, though. I'll make it for them. It's OK. <laughs> they don't need to ask. I'm happy to do it anyway. <laughs> what a benevolent soul you are. I'm a nice guy. Yeah. Dragging up in a minute. And Jyn Air just doing the Jyn Air thing, just waiting. Biding their time and allowing Samsung to make a mistake. Yeah, Trace interestingly choosing not to have that Zonia's Hourglass early going for the same build we saw last game and worked okay. Uh, I think he could have used it a bit earlier. It was okay. It was okay. I, I understand why he built the Abyss our first last game, yeah. but I think it did hurt them in some of those team fights before he could pick up that item. Yeah. I suppose. Wow, they're showing it's Che, 3,000 gold ahead of Wraith there. In the support category, that's a ton. Wow. GBM used his Blade of the Ruin King right there to try and burst down Eve. Couldn't quite get the kill, but he will push Eve back while this dragon is going to come up. Eve trying to heal himself. It's going to cost a lot of mana, however. Yeah. And that gets generic control. Okay. GBM, I love how aggressive he's being. Oh, man. Two shot barrage gets dodged by Eve. Take that, minions. It's going to be another dragon for Jynair. They're going to pick up their third of the game. Baron up in a minute and 20 as well, too. So Jynair really kind of seizing control of things at this point. They are about 8,000 gold ahead. And it looks like they're ready to kind of start to end things. Well, they've been slowly ending things for a while. They got two, yeah. they got two turrets over their last Baron, and now they're just going to be able to slowly tighten the noose right here, or not. It's like they're just going to recall instead, set up for Baron. Leave the noose a little bit loose and just freak their opponents out even more. 
The Fox. Loose Noose. Loose Noose? It's like, it's got to be the name of a tavern somewhere in England. <laughs> Wasn't the name of one of your bands, Noah? No, no, that's way too, that's, that's too much. Too much for me. <laughs> too much what? I don't, I don't know, it's too hardcore. <laughs> Too I'll, much, too much hardcore for Doa. Well, noted. Although, although Doa could only take a certain quota of hardcore. I, I will say though, and this is this is a hundred percent true. I'm not making this up. I was in a punk rock band in high school called Decapitated Snowman, and I'm not making that up. <laughs> I actually was in a band called Decapitated Snowman. That was a now everybody's that's a true story. Now everyone's gonna wonder how many of the other band names are actually real, though. I know that's the thing, right? I'll, I'll give you that one. That one actually is true. Actually, it's true. I was in bands in high school and college. And Janair coming in. Oh, Captain Jack with that poke on the raid. Just poke on everybody. Now, GBM tagging him with the Iceborne there as well. Yeah. So, allowing for a good amount of follow up poke. Here we go. Barrage. Nice chunk taken out of Fury. Chaser comes in, gets locked up by Kube. Has oh, to wow. keep away. Oh, man, they just blew up Chaser right there. I don't know if you want to keep pursuing this as if you're Jin Air. We'll see. I was actually very Ugh. surprised they managed to chain CC that well onto Chaser. Of course, Ace did flash out during the resonating strike, which pulled Chaser further back in. But yeah. Wraith immediately hit the hook off of that, too. So just really nice job of controlling Chaser's engage and making sure nobody got booted out into the front line. I believe there was a twisted advance used right away yeah. by Kube as well, too. Just really nicely played. Air trigger, counter engage there from Samsung to punish Chaser from going in. Eve going to take the blue buff. That's actually huge. Well, it's nice to keep it away from GBM. They've been relying on his poke all game long, and you know, Samsung still with a bit of life left in this one. This is the danger of playing these really, really long games that Jinair likes to play, is that it does give the other team an opportunity to catch up in items, and if they win a team fight, it's easy to do a lot of damage. Jinair going for this Baron now. And there's a Scrying Orb. They will spot it, and oh, Captain Jack takes some damage from Ace. He's got to back off. Is forced to use his heal. Oh, Rocket barely misses Captain Jack. I don't Jack. think it would have killed him anyway, so. I think it would have been close. Would have been close. Hype killer with Monte Cristo. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I wouldn't kill him anyway. What? Come on, man. Come on. You make my job so hard sometimes. I know. It's uh, I'm your training weight, still. <laughs> I guess. You're like the 500 pound wrist guards that Goku used when he's training in space. It's like I, I, I like toss some hype up, and instead of like alley ooping it into the basket, you just like spike it down into my face again. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I'm just doing it for the viewers. At this point, if I didn't hold you down, Noah, uh -huh. the hype would just be insane. It would just be everything and, and way too many decibels. So says too you. Much, too much excitement. Chaser getting poked. Eh, whatever. <laughs> there you go. Eh. <laughs> Now you're now you're more in, in, in my mold. He wouldn't have died eh. anyway. Eh. He's fine. He's got health, <laughs> half health left. Cap Jack almost got hit, but it wasn't really a big difference. Nah, two top laners fighting. Boring. If he's gonna teleport, whatever. <laughs> no, he's going for Baron now. <laughs> yep, he do. Oh, teleport from Trey, so oh, they want to contest it. I actually don't know why Kube teleported right there. I think they thought they had a chance to kind of sneak something away from Janair, but it did no. not work they very had, well. They had no control over the vision at that time. Now they're just getting recalled. Uh-oh. Uh, delayed and chunked out right there. I think this is what Janair was looking for. This could lead to some very bad things for Samsung. Janair turning around. It looks like Samsung's going to have to try to defend this Baron. Janair rushing towards it. They could also just bait this one as well, too. No, they are going for wow, it. Wow, they, okay. Oh, this is dangerous. They're gonna turn away right away. They get the ult from Ace out immediately. Kube coming from the side, but Chaser doing some good zoning there. Not allowing him into the back lines. And Jinair, Chaser has to get over the wall. And Jinair is gonna be stopped from doing this Baron yet again. 
It's going to be really hard for either one of these teams to take a Baron as long as anybody's alive on the other side. I mean, they knew that the, the Crab was up for Samsung, so I'm not exactly yeah. sure what they hoped to get out of that scenario. Maybe they thought they, if they turned immediately, they may be able to win some sort of poke competition and pick someone off, I but know, they were... seems relatively unlikely. Fury now with the Banshee's Veil to help deal with some of this poke and facilitate any resets that they might get by removing or failing to land, rather, yeah. crowd control effects onto him. Kube will be trying to sweep out the pit again, but both teams a little bit too eager to try and go for this Baron without complete control. It really hasn't been much of a mystery. You don't need Scooby-Doo in the game to figure that one out. Well, generic completely the Dragon game, however. Now, will they trade this for the Baron? That's what Samsung wants to do. They have Jinx, they can do it quickly. Just Chaser and Jin'Air right here. Or Chaser GBF, rather. All right, Baron getting taken by Samsung. Can Jyn Air stop this? Whirlwind comes in, and it's taken by Samsung. So Jyn Air will go ahead and grab their fourth dragon, I believe, with that one. That's four, so they've got that five dragon pressure now. I don't know why you would have Chaser there at the dragon. Like, that's, yeah. that's a really bad decision. When you're trying to play these late game Baron for Dragon showdowns, you want, if you're trying to take the dragon, just have GBM. He has a blade. He can solo it. He can just solo the dragon. He doesn't need any help. He has escapability. Send Chaser to put pressure on the Baron yeah. so that you have a smite there and maybe you can steal it or at least convince them not to, th to force them to turn or something. Yeah, well, with a whirlwind coming yeah, in bad from decision. Janna as well, that actually makes it even more likely that you can get a Baron steal. So. A little bit risky, a little bit strange. Certainly you don't want to send your, your jungler right there when you have an AD carry capable of taking that down all on its own. Well, that said, it, it doesn't, It's it remains to be seen just how much Samsung's gonna be able to get out of this Baron. They're pushing up the mid lane right now. Trace has some recall, he does not have teleport. Looks like they're gonna have to give up this turret. Oh, the shield from Jana comes in, not quite enough. So that's one turret down, but can Samsung push it any further? Baron buff already halfway expired for Samsung at the moment. And uh, is blue buff up? Yes, it is. Okay, this is really important for Jyn Air to claim this one. Samsung there as well, blue buff taken by GBM. So they do manage to grab that one. So obviously Jyn Air playing the long game here. If they can survive this Baron buff without losing too much, they will put the ultimate pressure on for that fifth dragon stack, that is undeniably true. Eve actually finishing up the Void Staff right now, so that'll be a nice item spike yep. for Eve as there's still a relative lack of magic resist items onto the Jyn Air Green Wings. Well, we're in one of those slow moments again where Samsung is going to try to make something happen here, but they don't have a whole lot of pressure, even with this little bit of remaining Baron buff. Yep, there it is. Almost gone now. Yep, so Jyn'Air is playing the waiting game. Yeah, they lost a mid-tier 2 turret, but that is it's about it. We'll see if they lose this one. It's pretty low. They might. Yeah, holding on to it for now. That one's not going to take too much. They have punishment. one more empowered minion wave to dispatch of this turret before they have to start thinking about something oh. else. And with the True Shot Barrage up, and all the rocket damage coming in, yeah, there's the Baron buff going, but they're gonna get it Okay. the minion wave. Yeah, right before the uh, Baron buff expires. Uh, Trace was not such a good equalizer up in the top side. Kube oh, trying boy. to duel, but that is Elise in coming in to help out. And yep. there you go, there's nice. the finisher. Uve getting in a little bit over his head. Does have TP though for when he comes back up, and that's a 72 second death timer. Oh, Trace! It's Rocket. Wouldn't it kill him anyway? What do you think? Uh, maybe. Oh, come on. <laughs> I just can't win. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know though. I, I am not sure either. So I guess we can just be excited about the fact that it almost hit him. Although that one is farther away than the last one. Trace going for the death cap before he gets. Wow, he really is. Zonia's hourglass that obviously going to be doing a lot of sustained damage in the fight, but it just seems to me that having that little bit of extra 
presence on the front line would be doing him some favors, especially at this dragon fight that's going to be coming up right here. Yeah. Here we go, dragon in two minutes. Virginia to start thinking about this one. Oh, Che gets a bit caught, manages to make it out. Ooh, that was really close. And Che forced to use Ooh. Flash and Ignite right there. And Ace! Oh, Ace with the ultimate manages to do it. That's got big implications here. Che's going to be up a little bit before that dragon yet, but that's a dangerous spot for Jynair to be in. Wow. Well, Ace big is really turnaround good. right there. Che not using his ultimate at all in that scuffle. Ace has been turning in a pretty solid game so far. Again? All right, so easy blue buff. Given over to Ace. And GBM is back as well. So, about a minute now until that dragon. Che is gonna be up about half a minute before the dragon. And nobody really with a whole lot of vision around the dragon dome right now. Let's check this one out again. Let's see what happened at the end of it. Nice chunk there from Eve, and Eve nearly going down. Meanwhile, Ace, quickly. From downtown. Oh, nearly max range. Yep. It seemed like Che had gotten out of the mix far enough, but was barely within the radius of that ultimate. So here we go, Janair. Dangerous recalls. Okay, so Jinair has a good position over this dragon, and this would be their fifth. Samsung really needs to stop this one from happening. Kubey's getting very scary as well with his Thorn Mail, Randuin's Omen, Frozen Heart. It's going to be very difficult for Jinair to Ooh. kill him with their composition. Yeah. Oh, wow, Captain Jack. You cannot get poked like that at this point. That's going to make this really dangerous. Jinair has to go for it, though. They need this dragon. Jack is going to be able to heal off the dragon. Kube needs yep. to TP in. Here he goes. There he goes. Hellborn coming down. Dragon does go over to Jinair. Now the fight commences. Thresh getting out of there, but Kube getting into the back lines. There's the ultimate coming in from Ace. Trying to pick people off. GBM getting very low. Gets a true shot for off. They do take down Janna. They're going to come down, and they just cannot deal with Kube right now. Trace getting very low, and it looks like Samsung is going to be able to maybe win this GBM. fight. Can GBM turn this one around? He's got to be so careful, man. Oh, try. here we go. Comes in. Kubei flashes away. There's the ult. It's still going. Oh, oh. the stun. And it will be an ace for Samsung. GBM tried to be our hero right there, but Kubei got in there. And man, the twist advance into the stun from Zareth. That is a dead Jin Air Green Wings team. And this could very well be an inhibitor. Or we'll two. see how far they can go through. Maybe hard to get two right here. Oh, they're actually taking that trip really fast. Yeah, Ace with quite a bit of AP, AP right now. Yeah. So they'll be able to move we'll through one. one. They're very low. Kube going to start working on this one in the top side. I guess so. No more cannon minions, however, right here. No more melee minions. Yeah, now Looks with- Looks like he's going to be able to get it. With Kube and Ace having to recall after this, is this going to open up possibly a counter chance for Jinair? Yeah, it absolutely will. And Che up there. Oh boy, Che. Che is going to try and delay them as much as possible for yeah. a counter Baron. But unfortunately careful, for Jinair, GBM does have a longer timer. So Samsung should be able to make some sort of Baron contest right here. Sure enough. Okay. Teleport coming down. Trace really wants to get in on the Ace here. Dodge nice that dodge. Stun. Knew it was coming in. Ace in there. Is a kill for Trace. Really good juke on that. Ace should have he held his stun. Coming. Ace should have yeah. held his stun right there. It was way too predictable. Definitely. Definitely was. Kuve manages to escape, but with Zareth down for 70 seconds, Jinair may have a really good Baron opportunity here. In fact, they're just going to go for it. Now uh, this does leave them open. Will Samsung just run up the mid lane? No, they will not. They're going to try to turn onto this Baron now. Well, GBM's not there. GBM is fighting off. Get it. The wave, but they are going to take it. Samsung not collapsing fast enough. Could have had a 4v4 right there. Yep. They're not going to get it. So now Baron over to Jin Air. Yeah, and they can just push right down this mid lane. This is a nice counteractive move to the super minions that are coming anyway. And Ace still down for about 30 seconds. Can Jin Air possibly take down the turret maybe before he comes back up? 
Uh, seems like they will be able to quite easily, actually, especially with these empowered minions. Oh, yeah. They're going to get the inhibitor. Too. Yep. Here we go. Got the inhibitor. So inhibitor for inhibitors. So that kind of equalizes things. The difference is that now, Jin Air can move around the map here and put some more pressure onto the other lanes. So. Yeah, they can just face tank this turret as well, which yeah. is what we're going to see Chaser do. No problem. They've got tons of sheet procs. We're going to take that one down. Captain Jack eats another spear on the exit. Yep. Big minion wave. Not so big anymore. Trimmed by the true shot barrage. Just uh, going to be a waiting game probably for the dragon right now as these inhibitors come back up. Yeah. Jenner can be patient in this scenario, however. They will have the inhibitor up first, and they have the higher priority in terms of that dragon. They can't get their fifth dragon stack once again. This Jinx is going to be really scary in team fights too. Oh, already, absolutely. Yeah. And that's all Samsung needs. One good team fight in this game can end. Yep. Certainly, those resets start rolling. That Maokai is very difficult for Janair to deal with. Well, like we said, that's the danger of taking it to the super late game. Is that even if you are the better team, one bad team fight, and it can mean the end for you. Janair does have the Zonias now, so Trace with a, some improved survivability, particularly against this Jinx that can chunk him down so quickly. Yep. A barrage, a nice, well, never mind. It did nothing. Yeah, it's really tough at this point to do any sort of pre-fight poking with Ezreal. That Nidalee heal with all that AP is going to do quite a bit. Good wards from Samsung, though. Chaser trying to get a flank, hasn't really been able to find one yet. Yeah. Uh, can't even contest his red buff right there. That will. Oh, actually, it did not go to you. I believe they did get that. Oh, did Chaser get it? Uh, somebody got it. I think Captain Jack actually got that one. Hard to tell. I'll have to double check. Could yes. have been a Fury somebody up buffs. on the top, too. I think it was Fury actually picked it up. Ah, uh, yeah, could be. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so inhibitor, the defense for Jin Air. They make it happen here. With those Baron empowered minions, that certainly does help quite a bit. Shot barrage again. Oh, goes it wow, missed Ace. It missed. Oh, man. Looked like that was very near yeah. hit. Samsung is going to have a hard time winning this poke war, though, considering the existence of home guard boots. Trace actually clearing in the bottom side. He doesn't have port. The Baron buff is over, too, oh, by wow. the way. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. This inhibitor is getting very low. Looks like Samsung's going to take it. There's Ace popping his ultimate just to provide enough separation. To let I, Samsung take the inhibitor and get I out. I really don't think the minion wave was big enough that Trace had to go down there to defend it. They had a tower. Oh, Here we go. They're going Marshall in. Marshall comes through. Chaser jumped on. Can't quite get a kickoff. Wraith getting very low regardless. Managed to get the death sentence onto Chaser. Kube going back onto GBF. GBF escapes. Kube getting very low. He's so tanky, but he will make it out. Wow, I thought he was going to go down for sure there, but that dark passage came in just in time. Drag it up in two seconds, though. Who's going to get it? Kuve's low, but Kuve has port. Yep. And they're going to try and heal up Che. They want to make this is so dangerous. They have no equalizer. Well, they kind of have to try. Oh, it, though, I don't I think Jenner can win this fight. Oh uh, well. I we think they may lose the game right here. Uh, if they try it, they certainly will. Kuve coming in from the side. If Jenner does lose this fight, it's over. Knock up onto Kuve. Toggles on that ultimate again. Comes back onto Captain Jack. Captain Jack does it. He's not afraid. There's the dragon. It does go over to Samsung. Kube goes down. This could be a fight for Janair. This could be a game for Janair. There's a double kill for Trace. And yeah, Samsung got the dragon. But if they lose their team, they will lose the game. The death timer's too long. And there's the Zonius for Ace. Can he live afterwards? Doesn't look like it. And Janair, they win the fight. They lose the dragon. But I think they're in prime position now to take this game. Samsung went for the dragon. Well. Kuve came from the flank. They needed to make a decision as to whether they were going to follow up on should Kuve's have flank. It. They, they should have fought it. it. I totally agree. Kuve had the angle right there, and had they just walked past the dragon and engaged that fight, I think they would have won. Yeah, and even Fury with this kind of hyper jinx status is not going to be enough as Trace zones in the back lines. Chaser comes in, and look at that. They get the kill anyway. GG. A 2 0 for a Jin Air, but. It may have been a 2-0, but that was the best performance we've seen from Samsung yet. The problem with what Samsung did is if you want to take the Dragon, you can't make that kind of flank. Yeah. Just push forward with the Maokai and zone them out. Have him take all of the poke while you take the Dragon. If you want that flank to come in, 
that you need to collapse on the other side. Because otherwise, Kuve is just standing there getting focus fired with yeah. no, there was no, there was no answer. Well, I mean, in the end, Jenner got what they wanted. They waited long enough for Samsung to make a crucial mistake and they won the game. This is how Jenner does things and against a team like Samsung.